What's up guys, this is Shana and inspired by the car shopping experience that I had right I always knew that there's only secondhand cars like used cars Or the new cars where I can shoot away, walk into showrooms and get them off the shelf lah But some of the audience like you guys actually showed me that pre-registered car do exist as well So they are still part of the new cars but at a used car price then you still enjoy all the warranties and all from a new car's interest rate and all right so i think it's a very similar thing with properties where you all know that there's only four different marketplaces number one is the new property number two is the second hand sub sale property number three is the auction market number four is if you buy via bulk purchasing and things like that but there's another one where I think not many people know which are the leftover units from the previous launch last So now I'm here again in Elmina to catch up my friend to see Hey, you know what? You're all busy launching this new faces la. If I don't want to go for the mainstream things that you guys are promoting You all got any like leftover units or not? Yes, they have And these are unfortunately not exactly open to public and Similar to a car showroom, uh, if you go into a sales gallery, they will show you like their latest factory units la, then their latest strata living, la, their latest terrace house la, and all right. All those things are standard and usual. But if you want to get like the previous launches of Elmina Valleys and Elmina Greens that did very very well, right? So I made a phone call asking the marketing manager of this project to actually show me around. Pity the fleur. <laughs> Okay guys, so now we are in one of the earlier launches, Elmina Valley 2. A lot of people have moved in, you can see every unit is kind of occupied already. And sub sale wise on the corner lot, on the property portal is around 1.2 million. Then some is 1.15, but this one, going for 1 million and still got discount. Going into the unit, this is a 20 by 80 You can see the early adoption of the Sime W landed uh, theories, right? It's all free of columns, so the frontage is very wide You have the amazing facade They use the brick structure and they use the baga to encourage ventilation Vent blocks as well They also adopted the ramp early on And this will be a bedroom already So when you come into the unit from the front door This is the kitchen and the remaining will be your living and dining my TV will be here, and this will be my garden. So let's go up and see you. Just check out the landing space for this. Wow, it's super huge. Deeper floor for the staircase, steel handrail, solid. This is a corner unit, and uh, this is your existing view. And the best thing about this kind of units is that you exactly know what you will get, what you will see, what's the profile, and are you okay being next to the guard house? Three bedrooms, actually four, like one is on the bottom just now. This is the principal bedroom. So let's take this unit for example. Sub sale unit is going for 1.2 and you need to cough out around 18%. In that sense, will be around 200 over 1000. So another choice would be to buy four or five years ago when this was just launched. You have no clue what view you get, what's the condition of the house You have no certainty whether people is going to live here So by getting a unit like this, you need to have two things One is a very positive mindset on imagining how it will look like in the end Not currently Number two, if you're a couple or a family that really requires a landed home right now You don't want to wait 4-5 or five years but you also want to enjoy the experience of buying new from a developer you want to enjoy all the marketing packages you don't have to cough out as much capital you can save up that money for your renovation maybe it's because how I see it right I see potential I don't see problems but if your eyes are focusing on problems then it's pretty difficult lah. so so we are now in Elmina Green the first phase, it was the one that I visited during the construction stage So now there's some loan rejected units and apparently it's these corner units It's around going for 900 over 1000 For their latest launch of Elmina Green, right, it's already 780,000 You can see the exact location, the exact orientation, the exact distance away from everything the Walkway which is like very nice Then the landscape shoulder, a lamppost, right, then where they put all the 
feeder pillars is all stacked up like that uh, something to take note also it's next to this new rumah slengoku so again the usual columnless uh, car porch then you have the side profile which is amazingly huge then you have the grills all given for and the ramp up from the roads is very easy for elderly where you can see this is a slope this is a slope wheelchair friendly and this is your unit so i guess we are not going to entirely review the entire piece by piece in detail because i've done it before so do check out the link but their unique selling point will be this ground floor bedroom where it's for elderly then the toilet right it's also ramped where it's very friendly for wheelchair okay so the condition of the house is only dirty but in terms of space it's still the same look into a dining space very very nice also you can check what's the backyard like how big is it from your neighbor yep so there's a lot of certainty in buying units like this sometimes when you buy off plans right it means when you buy based on your drawings or brochures right they will not tell you what's on the adjacent piece of land but here you can already see clearly what's going to happen as i see a lot of potential upcoming construction then there's a rumor slang or who here then there's a distance away there I can also determine the workmanship so this is the timber laminated flooring skirting that small door here yeah, the door for the buggy area three bedrooms one two and three and this is the unit with the double wall so this double wall allows you to have a better looking facade number one number two if you know how to do it properly right it actually shades this wall away from heat so you don't have to spend a lot of air con load cooling off this brick wall because the sun hit the one on the other side This is a better version in comparison to the one just now because it was one of the first launch of City of Almina itself but Almina Green came a little bit later hence the condition is not as old but Regardless, it's still a new unit. So sometimes when we look into drawings, right, we don't exactly know how big the corner lot is. So here you get to really experience before you decide on buying. And this one, it's going for 900, as we mentioned, 900 plus plus since they are thinking about clearing all these stocks. And do check it out, right? Hey guys, our last stop for today is actually Rainbow Sanctuary at Bukit Jalutong. So it's managed by the same friend. Uh. So this one has a different twist to it. This one is a townhouse and this is fully designed. So this particular development is located right on top of the hill where it's very serene, it's so quiet. And you look at the units, it's so nice and it shares the facility with the condo as well. Some car parks are actually located at the side so when you park, then you need to walk into your unit or you can just park up front uh. but it's going to be a tandem car park. So this one and a half belongs to this unit, the other one and a half belongs to the upper floor unit. So today we're going to check this one and let's go. So coming in, this is the ground floor and uh, this is your storeroom where you can put your heavy stuff, your golf bags or bicycles or whatsoever before you climb up the stairs. Now. In comparison to the neighbour, this is a slightly bigger one, that's like 3 plus 1 bedroom. It's actually bigger than a terrace house, just that more flights. Now. Coming up from the entrance, you are in your working space already. And here you have your unobstructed views where you get to park your cars outside. Living space upstairs and let's go check it out. So the ID looks very very decent. So you have the green with the Muji kind of feeling. Right? The ceiling is very decent and you get the view. Then you have the security, the bar guy and all. Next to the dining, there will be another space outside for your mates if you are having then you have your yard here and it's so breezy here wow then you have the area where you do your laundry and your visitors bathroom nice this will be the more open space where everyone your guests uh, your entire family members all will mingle around so the more private space will be going upstairs so you have your timber floor your steel area and in between you have this landing area it's so big that you can actually just chill here, read a book or whatsoever. Then that will be your living space. 
and the three bedrooms. So something I talk about for show units like this, it's uh, you just gotta accept that many people have stepped into this house before. But one very important thing I wanna highlight here, it's the valuation. This is your living room. You still have an outdoor space in your townhouse, imagine that. So this, you can actually have your barbecue and it's open air. That is so cool. Then let's check out the principal bedroom. This, whoa. So next to your king size bed, it's huge, you have the bedside tables and you have this view again. Whew. Next to that will be your wardrobe, then your dressing table, then check this master bathroom out. You have your old bathtub as well, then imagine just soaking here after a long day at work. You have your own shower and your WC by Johnson Swiss. Again, everything you see are included. Nice! First, I was describing on valuation. When a project is completed, the price will not necessarily sustain in the eye of the bank. Like let's say if I were to launch 1 million, right, before it was completed, then if you go and take a bank loan, yes, it might get one. But then after I hand over the keys and based on the transactions around, there's not enough evidence for the banks to take that risk on giving you that 1 million, if you get what I mean. So even this is 1 million and you kind of think of it, maybe I want to buy, right? The loan amount varies on individuals that apply, so based on the appetite and the situation of the bank at that current moment of time. So I think that's about it for today. Uh, trouble <laughs> Mr. Lee for so long. Anyway, today we have ventured the similar concept of pre-registered cars or you call them showroom cars. Today, the first property that we went to is Elmina Valley 2. One of the first launches of the city of Elmina where it's right next to the park. Subsea is asking for 1.2 million but that property, you can get it less than a million, I think. But the condition, it's not as pleasant, right? In that situation, it's important to look at the positive side. That's not a condition that you will take over when the developer sells to you. They will need to clear up everything, make sure that it's clean, it's tight all defects are touched up only you receive the unit on a good side you get to predict what's your view your orientation then what who are your neighbors how many people is staying around what's the distance to the park how far can my kid walk over but there's a lot of certainty just like the second unit that we went in the first phase of Elmina green it's also a corner lot and you're getting it around 900 over thousand there you also have the Sakura Park almost all properties in Elmina got park on lah. However, it's next to upcoming developments, it's next to a Roma Slangoku. But again, what you see is what you get. Then the third one basically threw me a wild card and brought me to Bukit Jalutong, Rimbun Sanctuary. In this project, I think it's amazing. So this is a townhouse, but what's different is fully ID. So an ID like this for a show unit, usually they'll spend like 300,000, 200,000 easily. But then the challenge would be getting the valuation from the bank side. This is really relying on the individual banker that you have or they have, right? Try to see and match your profile. Worst case, in comparison to a sub sale next door, not only you need to pay upfront, you, you need to spend a lot of time doing up the furnishings and things like that. And because this is a townhouse, a staircase on the upper floor, there's more flights for staircase to climb. But in this area, it's really serene and quiet. I think that's all for this episode. Thank you very much Mr. Lee for showing me around so I think in return uh, I think there's an upcoming campaign I don't even know what's the name of the campaign uh, maybe I'll just put it up this link until he tell me then I'll just put it up lah. okay so thank you very much for watching if you really like this video like it share it and even subscribe until next time this is Sean Tan ciao